Um, you're going to have to get that your player and you believe, one belief is, <laughs> people didn't want to read Bob Bennett's article in Collegiate Baseball about the yips. I sat across from someone at the banquet and he said, I started to read it. I got uncomfortable. I turned to the drill page. I get very uncomfortable. So coaches get very uncomfortable talking about the yips. Maybe you went through it yourself who hasn't had a problem or a friend. So it gets people weird. It's like when I was a kid in Boston growing up, no one talked about cancer. It was called the big C. So the, the yips, the struggles that I call the disconnect, which is a much easier word. The disconnect, <sighs> I've got disconnected. Who doesn't get disconnected from thoughts and stuff like that? It's much easier and that's all it is. All I do is help people to reconnect. I got a triathlete who showed me, uh, I'll give a belief. Sean Green's belief entering um, the Mets this last year was that he always starts slow in his game hitting. Always has been just the way it is. He believes it. He was starting out with around 150 coming out of spring training. Calls me about a half hour before he goes into the first game with the Braves. Ran him through the imagination characters and move them around and transform them and all sorts of stuff. And he ended up being at 350 in April and he ended up for the first roughly two months being in the top 10 of the National League hitting. So it has an ability just to tweak someone. Everyone's mechanics are alive and well. Any kid a scout sees who misses it because of pressure, hold on to him. He can pull the pressure out like a splinter. They're all alive and well. So many kids miss their dream. The people who drop baseball players, who demote them, who get rid of them, who trade them, it's insane. Dropping a guy in the first five or six weeks of Major League Baseball, they did last year, you know, half a dozen. Dropping 2,000, 2 million, 5 million, 11. No one, if they ran them through this process, I said in three hours, the most, three sessions, I worked with Wallers. One, two, three days in a row, Wallers was right back again and played two more years. It just is there. It's, it's, it's I don't can't say it's foolish. It's foolish not to. <laughs> Because there's something sitting, but most people aren't aware of it. I've been doing it for years and years. So let's find another way. Let's do chapter eight. Hi, my name is Jeff Sneed. Dr. Richard Crowley helped me prepare mentally for the 2004 Olympic trials. Prior to meeting with Dr. Richard Crowley, I was very skeptical about working with a sports psychologist. After using Dr. Richard Crowley's techniques, it turned my weakest portion of the triathlon the swim into one of my strengths. I remember uh, after two sessions with Dr. Richard Crowley going to a race in Brazil and one of my competitors on the Brazilian national team came up to me and said, you know, we're going to have to work together real hard today on the bike because we're going to come out of the water in the second pack. And without even thinking, I immediately said, no, I'm going to be in the first pack. And ever since that day and after wor working with Dr. Richard Crowley, I have been a front pack swimmer and been using the swim to my advantage and that allowed me to have a second place finish at the Olympic qualifying race in Chile and in 2004 I had the third fastest swim time at the Ironman World Championship in Hawaii. When I met Jeff his weakest, his weakest was swimming. That was his problem. It's great running, biking. And so I knew nothing about, you know, I said tell me about your sport. And he says well, and he's very slight, I mean there's no body fat, very slight kid. And he says, well, you get in there and you're muscling around with some big guys. It's like 1,500, 2,000 guys getting into the water at the same time. So I've always ended up in, in two because I figured my size. I said, let's go to your imagination and ask your imagination for an image, symbol, character, something that makes you believe that you belong only in the second pack. We shifted it, got rid of it. He moved into the first pack and he came out, like he said, num number three out of the Ironman con competition. So be aware of beliefs you have, beliefs players have. And, and, and question them. Just, just don't buy them. Even though they've been forever and ever and everyone says, yeah, yeah, that's... The world, the world believed it was flat 500 years ago. All the intelligent people believed the world was flat. No one went sailing. So just because everyone's believing it, question it yourself. Um, go to uh, chapter 9, please. On your website, you have a self-assessment survey. 100 challenges players can conquer. One of those challenges is forgot how to throw. How can a player forget how to throw after he's been doing it his whole life? Jeff Snead, the triathlete, is the one that taught me this. He said he had another, another problem. He said, Doc, just before I start, I start, I'm in the race. I know that when it starts to burn, 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 that's when I push as much as I can and grab that fraction of a second to win. I know it after the race is over. I know it before the race begins. Somehow during the race, I get disconnected. I, I forget. I just forget. I don't know why. It's something I know over and over a hundred times I want to do that and then I don't do it when I'm in the race. So I learned from him with, with especially hitters 
they're over here in the hitter. They're waiting to go in the hitter's box. They know what they want to do. They've scoped everything out. They know the pitcher. They know what's going on, what they're going to do. The minute they get in the box, they come out of the box and they go, how did I forget, forget to do what I wanted to do? Ask them. When they go in and out, you're going to notice they'll get disconnected. They'll go unconscious, we'll say, just slightly disconnected, and then they're back in again. It's the disconnect I work with. We all get disconnected. The lower end of the, of the disconnect or the quote yips is over here. We all have little things. Every player has it. Every single player has it. Every player will tell you it's a mind game. Met a kid outside here yesterday. He was dropped by the Phillies, had an injury. I liked him. He had, he had that kind of magnetism of a, of a pro ball player. I'd seen him the day before, and I'm like looking at him, and we connected. I, he said, well, I'm working here at the show now, and maybe I'll do coaching. And I said, why not get back into it? Well, I may. I said, go back into your professional ball player. I'm telling you, are, I'll work with you. You're on the house. Go in there, and I'll work with you free for your whole career. I says, I met you. I just saw his energy, and he's supposed to be a ball player in the professional league. So, um, I have, uh, the disconnect is where it could do, uh, chapter 10. This kid is, uh, is, is